Hi, Mr. Cooper. First of all, I want to thank you for all the good content you're creating. You're my favorite YouTuber and uh, you give me hope for improvement. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Secondly, I could use your advice in regards to premature ejaculation. To give you some background information, me and my girlfriend both live with our parents. While doing doggy eye can last pretty long, but we don't want our parents to hear the 100 pound decibel loud clapping. Unfortunately, I bust way too fast doing any other position, such as missionary or cowgirl. <laughs> so far, I have been trying for one month some of the techniques in how I draw my penis to improve my endurance. I have it to try out fire and wood. However, I was wondering if I could do it. could do additional things to speed up the process. Do your other products like the Sexual Dominance Course or Premature Ejaculation ebook cover any helpful tips? Well, the Premature Ejaculation ebook is literally about preventing premature ejaculation, which is the thing you're worried about. Um, one other thing, there's a couple of techniques in there. I mean, I think I might even mention it in the How I Grow My Penis, the kinking the hose technique. I think I do mention that in How I Grow My Penis. And that is a way of like kind of regaining control, like pulling out, kicking the hose, and then taking away that sensation and going back into it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, I'm almost certain that the kink the hose is in the How I Grew My Penis book. So that's, that's, that's my usual like first like go to if I ever, ever have that uh, problem. <laughs> but yeah, it was like, I like the fact that it's actually surprising. Most guys tend to come, most most dudes ha tend to tend to come quicker in things like uh, cowgirl, uh, sorry, uh, doggy style than uh, cowgirl missionary. So you're actually in a good. Like, I think it m maybe it might, it might even it might I it might even be. You know what's kind of kind of I'm thinking right now is it might even be the very fact that you know that you can't do it because you'll get caught because it's loud, and that's why you feel calm in and you last longer in doggy, you might even be, this might even be a, uh, there might be a degree of mental anchoring going on here, I would just suspect. Because um, you know you can do missionary and cowgirl without getting caught and that, that excitement gets you kind of carried away and you lose control. <clears throat> that's, a, that's, that's just interesting. It's a, just, a, just a thought, interesting observation. But uh, think other things you can do, well, the fact that you're lasting longer in, in, in one position versus another, that's interesting. Tells me that it might necessarily not might not necessarily be so much a um, a brain chemistry thing. Because I was going to suggest uh, increasing your levels of GABA because GABA is a relaxing neurotransmitter, which helps guys over like last longer. Because premature ejaculation tends to be associated with anxiety and um, kind of like overstimulation of the brain. You get too excited. So increasing your GABA levels is one way to accomplish that. So supplementing with things like uh, taurine, L-theanine, magnesium glycinate, and methyl cobalamin. Those four things can help increase your, your GABA levels and calm your mind a bit. So you can try that. Uh, and then the other thing I would say is the kink the hose technique, which you already have learned about in the How I Grow My Penis book. <clears throat> If that, if you still want to go further down the rabbit hole, then get my premature ejaculation ebook because I go over a whole bunch of things. Like I go over a few, few more kind of mental state, mental hacks, and um, physical like tips and tricks, as well as like a whole reconditioning routine uh, for kind of de like re regaining control of your body. Basically, like learning to to be more in touch with your body, learning to recognize your point of no return, control it. Reconditioning your pelvic floor with with regular kegels and reverse kegels, and, and achieve like a strong balanced pelvic floor. Because often, uh, premature ejaculation is also res a result of a weak pelvic floor or an, an imbalanced pelvic floor. Is a better way of saying. It. So reverse kegels actually tend to um, be better at fixing this problem than anything else. And so it, quickly, a reverse kegel is uh, if a regular kegel is when you're pissing and you stop the flow of, of pee from coming out, it's a regular Kegel. A reverse Kegel would be if you're pissing and you push the pee out faster. When you've got this kind of this pushing sensation, that's kind of what it feels like in your pelvic floor region, like a pushing down sensation, that is a reverse Kegel. So you can also try adding those into your exercise routine and improving that balance uh, to, to strengthen that pelvic floor, but improve the balance of it, because you probably, what you might find is your pelvic floor if you have a premature ejaculation problem, it's a bit too tight. So relax, learn to relax it more, it will give you more control and more composure, especially if you do that during the act of sex too.